and your mindset as a pitcher is that you've got each bat these different batters coming up. So you've got to be able to turn it on, settle it down, turn it on again, sell it down. So putting something together like that that's full body and it's dynamic, it's explosive, it's a safe environment to be able to do it in. Um, there's a real testosterone rush that can come off of doing those particular things. But you've got to be able to stay in control because we put the balance stuff in there too. So you just can't go crazy. So that's what we try to do there with the rope. It's a full body even though they're working with their arms. We want them to be in rhythm so they're not just doing their arms. Uh, Tax the cardiovascular system. They go right from there to be able to do a balance or a medicine ball thing. Right to there to do a stability ball thing. So again that total feeling that their body's being taxed but in a different way each time, and they have to activate a different group of muscles. They have to use a different side of their brain, different part of their brain each time in order to execute. Well, the main thing on the slams that you gotta get across to athletes, and really any time you have a medicine ball in your hand, is that you never want the medicine the ball to become the object that you focus on. Whether you're throwing the ball up, you're throwing it down, it's all about follow through, so that when they release that ball, those hands need to follow through, as opposed to throw the ball and stick right there. So whether it's here, it's here, or they're throwing it up, follow through, controlling the hips, and be able to go rapid fire. So the ball doesn't become the exercise. We keep that short because we want it to be explosive, so we keep that between three and five reps. 